So, it's so hard. I'm wearing my bathing suit top today because this is something that, well, it's from Bueno Skin and my son and I both loved the shea butter. Um, I know that shea, this one has some low ratings, but it's, it's low rated because people didn't read the instructions. <clears throat> I'm just going to go over this real quick because I really, really love this. So, you see it, look how thick it is. That's not a creamy shea butter that you're used to. And all you do, you just warm it in there. It's already, just me, you can see the shininess on my hand. It's already starting, see? You just warm this sucker up. I'm going to put it back in the jar because I'm working. I don't want to waste it. And I'm working with something else, but I... I love that. Um, women get old looking right here. It is the fix. It is the fix for the old lady in between the booby skin and neck skin. So anyway, just, just remember that name, Buena Skin. So when we were doing that, we saw this spirulina scrub and I put spirulina in my um, smoothies, in my juices, because uh, I, I know you, it, well, my fan base from Periscope knows that I'm, I'm very ill, um, so they see I do a lot of looking for healthy things to help my sepsis. Anyway, spirulina. You know, they send you a welcome email, and what they're doing is, just like with the shea butter, they remind you that you have to melt it in your hands. Um, and what I say about stuff like this, when you want something all natural, your whole life you're used to everything so processed. It's just handed to you on this little cute little platter. Here's your beautiful creamy shea butter. Blink. Oh, no work. You're not used to it. So whenever you see something that's not creamy, you're so spoiled. Spoiled brats. You're so spoiled that you think, ew. But anyway, they sent a, a welcome email just reminding you that it is a shea, uh, spirulina, which is um, derived from like seaweed and algae. So... What does seaweed and algae sometimes smell like? It could have a fishy smell, a seaweedy smell, but I'm, I'm not, uh, well, it could be also I am used to stuff like this, so I think it smells good. So what I'm going to do, I wore my bathing suit so I can take a shower and I don't have to wear, worry about any boob slips because... I don't have time to make, to remake videos because um, I just have a lot going on. So I'm going to have my son help me once I get in and I'm just going to show you something that even my mom never, she would have never thought of doing, which to me is just like ABC. It's so easy. It's your feet. Your feet, they get on your toes, you get dry skin buildup. So if you feel your feet, they feel dry. Sometimes they crack because they're getting dry. Stuff like this, you're gonna, um, uh, like, I wouldn't say sand off, but it's got some grit to it. So it's gonna like sand down some of that nastiness. After you do this, like if you felt your foot first, like around your toes, you'd be like, okay, it's a, it's a little rough. So promise, 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 if this is as good as I think it is, when you're done, it's going to be so smooth, you're going to be like, oh my goodness. And it's going to do the same for your body. I'm not going to use this on my face because I use other things that are specifically face products. Because um, your face skin is a little bit more delicate than your body skin. Your body skin can handle this kind of product. For me, um, it's not their product. But I use a, uh, a coffee 
scrub that I just love. Um, but this is for body. So I'm going to start my shower up and then I'll have my son help me out. You know, my dog usually helps out too. It's like a family affair. Um, I have my whole family um, that helps me with any kind of products that we want to try. So it's fun and it's enlightening. And for me, the natural stuff, it's just amazing. It's like, where have you been all my life? So we'll just go from here. Well, I'm waiting for my water to warm up. So well, I'm waste. I don't, I hate waste. <laughs> you see how it's kind of like gritty. It has, I wouldn't, it's not fishy at all. I wouldn't even say that I smell a really strong seaweed. Paisano, can you come here? He'll know. He'll, 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 he's the nose. Can you smell that? You might have to bend over. They're not going to see you because you're, um, you know, almost six foot five. It smells like, it smells like tea. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't place what it was that I was smelling, but he's right, it does. It smells like a, a certain kind of tea. Chai tea is what I'm talking chai one, tea? One that we always use. So you, I want it on the good side. The, what? Um, huh? What? You know, I like filming from this end. Yeah. Because it takes a better picture. So if I'm, I wore my bathing suit, just, just don't get these the underwear area because I only have a bathing suit top on. What? In other words, I'm going to show this. I want to do my feet because I would say that this is a really, really good thing for those dry spots on your feet. So I'm going to do that. You can be the, the what do you call it? The cameraman? The cameraman. So what am I filming now? Well, I'm going to work on my feet. So, you get in between, and I could already feel that it's very smooth. Sometimes I take my puff, and I put some on my puff. What? My puff. Uh, what? See all the stuff in the water by your feet? Uh-huh. Oh, it's got like a lotion-y effect going on. What does that mean? I'm trying to think what's my word I'm looking for. Moisturizing. Moisturizing. No, my feet are actually a bit swollen today. No one cares. I do. So this right here is where my mother has some serious dry patch right there. I don't have that, but if I was working on my mom's feet, there's what I would be right there. Always remember when you're using a product in the shower to be extra careful that you don't slip and break your neck. Um, you know. I don't think I've ever fallen in the shower, have I? No, but that'd be funny. It would probably hurt. Probably. What? You know, we have a, what's the name of that thing? Um, AIDS? Teeter. We call it AIDS, Jack. We have a teeter, help me. Hang up. A teeter hang up. You hang upside down for your back. And the day that we got it, <laughs> I, well, I have fibromyalgia and amps, which means I'm in a lot of pain. So I could not snap the sucker to my ankles too tight because it hurts so much. So I got on it, I flipped myself up and I fell out I fell out like a bowl of spaghetti onto the floor. A Quite crying literally. a crying, laughing bowl of spaghetti. It hurt so bad. That was hilarious. But it was so funny. And of course, uh, we weren't we weren't uh, filming that time. We were just we were just trying it. 
Wow, you feel the um No. Feel no feel here. No. On can you see the shininess? Oh yes, you can really see it. You can it has a very serious moisturizing component in it. Um I can see it. Your foot looks oh. like hell. Huh? Your foot looks terrible. You mean because it's red or just because it's old? Both. Well, I can't help them. I have old feet. I'm old. I am 53. 54. Shut up. I'm 53. You're going to get me confused again. Yes, he had me confused. He had me convinced when I was 52 that I was 53. My aunt looked at me like, Diane, seriously? He had me so convinced that I was wrong about how old I was. I got convinced too. He convinced himself. He forgot he was fooling me. You forgot that, uh... My God, you're using so much. The whole thing's gonna be gone. I'm not gonna use it all. Oh, that feels so good. I can feel it, uh, getting off that. Here it comes. God, this seems painful. Well, you know if it was painful, I would be knowing it. No, I'm talking about holding this phone. Oh. While you take your pretty little time. Oh, you know, a shower, and this is like a spa treatment. You can't it's expect- It's like a spa treatment. You can't expect me to rush through my spa treatment. Please do. Please do. Hey, later on, Cordell's gonna do it to himself, too, and I'll be filming him. No. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, very nice moisturizing going on. So it's Buena Skin. And yeah, I did use a lot, but... Yes. Um, hey, I wanna... I wanna know! <laughs> you know what? I know where you sleep. I know where you sleep too. I know your wallet sleeps, so you know tread, light, wallet sleep? tread lightly. Tread lightly. Because I'm needing 20 bucks right now. So I'll just comb through your, your stuff. Which one has 20? So I'm just going to pause <laughs> it now so I can take my shower and then I'll be back and I'll tell you what the verdict is on how they feel when I rinse. So I'm back. Whew. I came out and uh, I had put this on the floor outside the shower and I didn't put the lid on and I came out and uh, my dog was eating it so I'll have to look and make sure he's not gonna croak at me or anything I don't think he ate much I think he was just licking it because I didn't see him chewing but he was licking the outside and the rim of the, the bottle he's a weirdo he um He's so used to us filming because we, normally I have a, a, a live channel and I've neglected it. Um, and I'm getting a lot of messages from some friends wondering if I'm okay. It just got crazy when my parents got sick. Um, as you can see, I have on, I am in love with the towel that I have on my head. And I did a video about it the other day. But um, I really, really like it. It's like, I feel so spoiled and I feel so privileged. Not privileged, but, you know, like honored maybe to be able to do the things that I'm doing. And I hope that somehow something that I review will help you to have a better, a better life. My hands are so soft. <laughs> I'm such a freak. My hands are so soft from this spiraling scrub. Let me see exactly what it says on it. You know, I read directions last usually, which everybody does. Um, the bright light is killing me. 100% natural spirulina scrub. And um, it's so tiny, I can't see the ingredients. But I will, I'll put it in the box down below, um, the ingredients. I'll actually go to their website and I'll like copy their information packet. Um, so that you can 
really read what's up. Um, I try to remember to do that because there's always seems there would be some valuable information like with the shea butter it tells you to warm it up. Uh, if they didn't email me like, hey, congratulations on your purchase of the Buena Skin. And then it told me about um, warming it in the palms of my hands. If they didn't send that, um, I probably would have never known because the print is really tiny and it does say it on the both on the jars. I didn't I didn't read this one. Um, yeah, I need my these have readers, but about eight months ago I got a new prescription but I have not been able to afford. I'm pretty poor. My diseases have left me a lot of times just uh, too sick to do much, uh, but I can do this and that's what, it's like brought a new little breath of life into my life. So before I got sick, I was a product or I actually worked for all these different companies where I would go from store to store. Um, I would check their stock. I would train their employees how to use things. I worked on their computers. So I, I did a little bit of everything. Um, I, if stuff was recalled, I picked up recalls and destroyed them or brought them back to the company. Like I was called an independent contractor and I just worked for all these companies and I loved it. One of my favorite was Keurig. I used to do demos for Keurig and everybody in my family owns a Keurig because of those demos I did. They are just an awesome coffee pot. So yeah, before the fibromyalgia and the MS, and I guess it was really the sepsis part of my diseases that was the tipping point that made it even worse. But anyway, as you well know, I am a talker. And that's what blogging is all about. Blogging. Woo! Blogging, blogging. Um, it's just talking about life and what's working for you. So this is working for me. And I can feel, I wish you could feel it. It, such a softy, velvety, softy, a soft, velvety kind of feeling. Um, I, I can feel it. So in the shower, you saw me wash my feet and my um, calves, but in the shower, I, I went all out and washed almost everything that I own except my face. Um, so I can feel like I can feel this silkiness to my skin and um, I lost a lot of weight and so I have a lot of excess skin like this here. <laughs> I am hoping that stuff like this scrub will help wake up my skin to get healthy and maybe it doesn't have to contract and be a beautiful arm again, but you know, I'm hoping that stuff like this will just bring the blood flow back to those areas and help my body. I don't want, you know, when you lose weight, you're punished for being fat by your skin. You did it to your skin, so you deserve it. Not really, but that's how I look at it. It's like punishment. So now you've lost 170 pounds, right? And you feel better, you look better, but do you want to have surgery and get that off? Probably not, because what if you die? You lost weight, and now you're going to have a surgery that's deadly. You could bleed to death. You could get MRSA. Anyway, um, so back, stay on task, Diane. Made my skin very silky, especially my feet. Well, you saw, you could see the oil um, when the water hit my feet. You could see that there was a moisturizer going on. So, and when I, <laughs> such a jerk, came in and scared me. <laughs> That's not nice. When you go upstairs, carry yes. up, buddy. There's a big old spider, and I sprayed him. Okay. What was I saying? 
Before you scared me. Mm, he totally blew my mind away with, with scaring. Oh, so I got the welcome letter that told me that um, that the spirulina has a seaweed scent. So I was I was thinking this is going to be some strong seaweed, knock your socks off, like whoo. But like my son said, I couldn't think of where I had smelled it before. But it is. It's like a tea. It is not strong. Um, my bathroom does not have a seaweed smell, and I used quite a bit of it. Hey, Paisano! He's gone. I was going to tell him that the dog was eating it. Um, it does not have, like, I thought maybe the bathroom would smell like seaweed, but no, I don't smell it. So, anyway, um, I will continue to use it. I will do a video later of Cordell. We have to go to physical therapy in about 20 minutes. spider we have a basement apartment <laughs> yeah funny ha ha <laughs> this is what enjoyment looks like yeah jerk Big. <laughs> Hi, Boppies. The boy scared me. I don't know. Well, I hope my phone doesn't fall in. There he is. That's just for me blowing my nose, those tissues, so there's no peepees or anything. But there he is. That was right next to me. And yeah, when I got out of the shower, I blew my nose. So I didn't just take you on a trip to my nasty toilet. Those are just nose blow tissues. Thanks for the adrenaline rush. Now I gotta watch this video to make sure I didn't boob or crotch it. More time now. Worth it. Worth it. That's beautiful. All right. I don't remember what I was saying because oh. my, ah! heart, my heart is beating and it's, it's supposed <laughs> to be beating, yes, but it's really beating fast. And. I wasn't even planning on scaring you. Yeah, you turn over and there's a spider. What if he was still a little bit alive? He could have jumped on me and hurt me. One, that spider does not jump. Two, it was limping and I hit it real limping. hard three times. He could have jumped on me. He could have limped on me. After it was, I, He was limping before I crushed him, so. Well, I don't know that. He looked fresh. What if he was faking he was his he death? Was, he was just living He could have been faking his death. Sometimes they do that. They fake that they're dead and then they like, whoop, I wake up and I walk away. He was too wasted from all the poison. But I didn't know that he was wasted. I just looked over and saw a big spider and I thought, well, what if he decides to wake up and be like, Pling! he could have bit me. Your brother got stung by a wasp that was dead. I just, he killed it. He whacked it. Whack, whack. It popped up, landed on him, stung him dead anyway that was hilarious. and it was hilarious <laughs> I'll get you my pretty and your little dog too And then hopefully tonight Cordell will do his spirulina scrub video. And uh, I think his feet, they're like um, a Yeti foot. And um, I think the Yeti feet will benefit greatly from the spirulina scrub. He really does have a Yeti foot. I'm not kidding. It's a size 14. 
It's a monster. They are always out tripping people. They're big. The shoes look like Frankenstein sent him a special pair in the mail. They're huge. They're big. 14 monsters. And he needs a size 15 soon. So, oh well. I have to go get ready. Uh, we'll repost later tonight after Cordell does his scrub on his Yeti feet. And I'm uh, sorry for screaming over the spider. I don't like bugs. Uh, I don't like them at all. Uh, the cute ladybugs, I can deal with them. I don't want to touch them, but um, I'm not going to... I will probably scream and run if it was flying at me, but I'm not going to like burn the house down if there was a bunch of ladybugs in the house. I could deal with it. Okay, talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.